Okay, now we wanna talk about calibrating your POP3 scanner. So actually, we've calibrated it for you right in the factory, but the only reason you would want to maybe calibrate it again once you actually rece receive your scanner is if the time from you ordering it to you receiving it has been relatively long. Then it would be a good idea to calibrate it. Or once you get it and it's fine and you feel like maybe occasionally you're having tracking loss, that would be also a good time to recalibrate it. But recalibrating is actually relatively easy. On your home screen here, you can just select scanner calibration. And it kind of tells you through, walks you through the different processes of what you're gonna be doing. You're gonna be dealing with the distance between the scanner and the calibration board itself as shown here. So it's gonna start out a little bit close, medium height, and then a little bit further away. The next one's gonna be doing dealing with the tilt of it from left to right angle. And the other one's gonna be rotating it this way. Those are the three ways in which it's gonna calibrate it. And your calibration board comes with your scanner. So everyone who orders the scanner will also get the calibration board. So it suggests that you can practice first, so let's do that. So here again, we got the three different options. That's reading your, tw your twist from left to right, rotating from front to back, and distance from the calibration board itself. And then you see the white crosshairs and the red crosshairs. You wanna line them up. So right now, it's saying my distance isn't right. And I wanna continue practicing before I start calibrating. So. So you want everything to be green. So right now my distance is still off. So get to that point. So then you would be good. So let's actually run through the calibration now. So everything, once everything turns green, it automatically moves to the next step. Continue calibrating. So now it wants me to start low. I have the rotation and the twist right, but I need to get close to the calibration board. Good. And now it's gonna ask me to go a little bit higher, 25 centimeters. Good. And then it adjusts all the way up to 30 centimeters. Perfect. And then this is nice. This is different with POP3 compared to some of our other scanners. It's equipped with a little leg on the back that you pull that out, next step, and you're gonna to wanna to have the leg on your left side. So this is taking away the process of having to tilt your scanner this way because it has the leg, you don't have to worry about that. You just have to worry about rotate and distance. So let's line it up again, close, great. A little bit further away, 25 centimeters. Great. A little higher. Excellent. Now rotate the leg so that it's further away from you. And continue. Start low. A little higher. Excellent. And higher. And now the leg is gonna be on your right side. So rotate it over there, click next. Start low again. Good, a little higher. Then 30 centimeters. Nice. And the last one will be with the leg closest to you. Start low again. Medium height, 25 centimeters. Then all the way up. Excellent. 
Okay, so it says calibration completed. If you want to discard and redo it, you could, or simply just save.